Hey guys, welcome back to the Mugger YouTube channel. Today we've got the flagship model from Spider Farmer. It's their commercial fixture. It's called the SE 7000. As you can see, it is a big eight bar LED grow light. Draws about 730 watts from the wall. So it's a really big fixture. And Spider Farmer have taken the decision to up the ante in terms of average power levels. This one is designed to fit in a 4x4 and designed to be running at very high uh, average power intensities where um, it is likely that you're really going to need CO2 supplementation to take advantage of those high power levels. Normally I'd recommend average power intensity, particularly for photo periods, that is 12 hour um, flowering light cycle for a um, maximum power intensity or an average power intensity of about 800 micromoles per meter square per second. And this is because if you increase beyond that, the plants can't really absorb all that light, um, or not at least not all varieties, and it can, can cause uh, light stress, particularly if the environment isn't maintained with the correct humidity and temperature levels, it can cause um, stress to the plants. So going up into the 1000 micromoles and above, it's generally considered that you would need to supplement CO2. And this is because the CO2 basically enables the plant to breathe easier under these high intensity conditions and um, allows it to process or convert all of those photons into glucose or sugars. Um, and therefore you're taking advantage of those high um, light intensities. So typically if you're um, going above a thousand micromoles, it's recommended you run a closed system that is one where CO2 is supplemented into the system um, artificially and um, maintaining that CO2 levels up around the same ppm as the power intensity. So in this case, um, at about 1300 micromoles average power intensity, you'd be running about 1300 parts per million in terms of CO2. So if you're planning on running a closed system with elevated CO2, this could be the light for you. It is a um, very highly specified fixture. So you've got Samsung white LEDs along with the red 660 nanometer reds for higher efficiency, it's full spectrum. So totally suitable from growing full cycle all the way from seed to harvest. And as I said, good um, LED components, uh, highest quality. You've got um, Inventronics driver on the rear, which can be remote mounted so it's got cables long enough you can hang it on the wall adjacent to the light. It's got dimming on board as well as daisy chaining so you can control multiple fixtures at the same time in terms of lights on and off and uh, dimming control. The build quality is okay. Um, it is not their uh, highest quality finish in terms of lights. But you can see that most of the, um, the resources here have gone into the higher quality components in terms of LEDs and, um, and drivers. So the aesthetics are sort of secondary really here. Um, so you've got exposed wires and, and you've, got, um, you've got to sort of uh, screw the thing together, uh, assemble it with um, thumb screws. It's not the most elegant, but at the same time, everything functions, it's robust enough and uh, everything went together fine for me fairly light fixture as well to hang and um, yeah so it's it's uh, and, and low profile and very low profile if you take off the driver you're ending up with only about uh, two and a half inches or maybe 60 millimeters of depth to the whole fixture so very suitable in that sense for a commercial um, environment and application in terms of performance it's an excellent performer as I said the um, in the four by four it averages a high uh, nearly, a nearly 1300 uh, micromoles per meter square per second in terms of efficiency. And that uh, results in a system efficiency with the 730 watts drawn, the total power output you know, reaching the plant canopy divided by the um, power consumed. Um, it's a system efficiency of 2.46 micromoles per watt or usable PPF per watt, which is really, really good especially for this price point. Price point depends on where you are. Uh, spider farmers sell globally, so I haven't um, 
I don't stay it here, but you can see it if you click on the link directly below um, and you can see the price in your region. But you'll see that it's a very, very good uh, value for money um, fixture in terms of output per, uh, per dollar or per euro. Overall, I like this fixture. It's very specifically targeted at a very um, high performance uh, commercial setup. But, uh, you know, it delivers. It's got the quality components. It's got the output. It's got the spectrum. And, um, yeah, as long as you're happy enough to, um, to screw the thing together, which only takes a few minutes, it's, uh, it's a good fixture. Hope you enjoyed. Any questions or comments, please leave them down below and take care.